Bob has started to examine the major costs in his newly acquired business. One cost that has increased significantly is electricity, and Bob wants to understand how to better manage this cost. To do so, Bob decides to use cost estimation procedures that he recently learned in CMS. Cost estimation is the process of determining how a particular cost behaves. This will allow Bob to learn why electricity costs have been increasing and to better predict and manage this cost. Bob follows six steps to estimate electricity cost behaviour. In step one, Bob chooses electricity as his dependent variable to observe and predict. In step two, Bob identifies the cost driver. Cost drivers are those factors that cause electricity costs to be incurred. Bob initially focuses on just one cost driver that he believes is the dominant factor. The most energy intensive process is operating the large oven of the bakery. Therefore, the number of batches produced is the cost driver. Step three involves collecting data on the dependent variable and the cost driver. Day and night, Bob carefully monitors the number of hours spent baking and matches these to cookie production. In step four, Bob then plots this data using a scatter plot to visually observe the relationship between the cost and its driver. Bob then estimates the cost function using the high-low or regression analysis. He believes the driving factor is the number of machine hours and chooses this as the independent variable. The highest and lowest periods of activity are chosen. Remember to choose the period based on the X variable. The Y values are the corresponding costs for each period of the selected X variable. Using the following formula, the impact of the cost driver is calculated. In this scenario, for each batch produced, $50 is incurred for electricity expenses. This is then substituted into the linear equation to find the y-intercept, which is the fixed cost. This amounts to $20,000. In the following month, Bob plans on producing 120 batches of cookies, which means his estimated electricity costs will be $26,000. Bob wants a more accurate model. He thinks that the estimates are too low and there may be other factors that cause electricity costs. Bob uses regression to calculate a new cost model for electricity. The advantages of regression are Unlike the high-low method, which uses just two points of data, regression uses all the available data points to construct the cost equation. Regression can also incorporate multiple cost drivers, as many costs are not driven by just a single factor. Bob adds the hours of operation into his analysis as more hours would mean greater use of lights and air conditioning in the bakery, which would require additional electricity. Bob pops his data into Excel and generates the regression model. In the following month, Bob believes he will produce 120 batches and be open for 160 hours, which means an estimated electricity cost of $19,720. Finally, Bob assesses the cost model in relation to the operations of the bakery and believes it provides an accurate representation of cost incurrence. With a reliable cost function, Bob can now predict electricity costs. Cost prediction involves using knowledge of cost behaviour to forecast future costs, helping Bob to develop better plans to manage the business. The cost model also helps him to think about ways to maximise the efficiency of resources consumed in the bakery. Reflecting on the cost drivers of electricity, Bob has an idea to increase batch sizes in order to reduce the total hours of baking. He also plans to install more energy efficient light bulbs to help minimise electricity costs related to store opening hours.